Not sure how to photograph shoes for eBay? Well, watch this video. We'll show you how we do it. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in. Welcome to another 15 in video. My name's Kevin. Uh, so in this video, we're gonna go over how to photograph shoes uh, to resell and to resell specifically on eBay. Uh, so we're gonna show you how to take your shoe photographs looking like this to looking like this. And of course, uh, don't forget, uh, if you're new here, uh, subscribe to the channel, greatly appreciated, and hit that notification icon to let you know we have some new content uploaded. And check out some links down below, just some items we use on a daily basis to help us out selling on eBay. And don't forget, give us a thumbs up. So without further ado, let's jump into the uh, process of how we uh, photograph shoes to reset. All right, uh, so the uh, pair of shoes that we're gonna be using as the example are gonna be uh, these ones, uh, some New Balance, these ones here. All right, so what you're gonna need, um, so obviously once you've uh, cleaned the shoes up, and if you haven't seen that video, how we go about uh, cleaning shoes for reselling, I'll link that up here so you can watch that. All right, so now you're just gonna prep the shoes for the photo. Uh, so our prepping consists of some sort of stuffing to give your shoes some form. Um, so what we've used is the stuffing that actually came in a pair of shoes. Uh, if you don't have any of this kicking around, uh, you can just use um, socks, uh, some old socks or new socks, um, just anything basically that can stuff the shoe to give it some form. Um, so all we want to do is take your stuffing and we're going to cram it into the shoe like so. And then what we do is some, a lot of people take their shoes like this, do a standard bow knot and then away you go. Uh, it's not bad. It's not wrong. Um, we just like a little more uh, cleaner look. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just tie a quick little knot in the lace. Take that stuffing back out. Just tuck this in here. Stick that in there. Then we just hide the lace down in there. And then there we go. Uh, so for us, it just gives it a little more cleaner and more of a formed look. And then we just repeat that for the uh, second shoe. So there you go, it just gives it a nice formed fit look. And again, we just repeat that. So we get our stuffing. Just make sure the laces are neat. Get that knot. Tuck the laces in. Get your stuffing. Fit it in there. Make sure it's nice and fit. And there you go. Now they're all set. To be photographed. So again, gives it a nice form looking fit and it's nice and clean. You don't have all the laces dangling around. Uh, so yeah. All right, so now that uh, we got the uh, shoes prepped and ready to go for photos, um, what we'll do is we'll just pop them in the photo booth and we'll walk you through uh, the photos we take. Now with eBay, it does allow you to have up to 12 photos and we do recommend that you use as many as you can, basically all 12. Uh, at minimum, I would suggest that you use at least eight photos. And it's also good to have a plan uh, when it comes to your photos. So uh, have an outline of how you want the shoes to be set up before you get started. That way, um, you know, you have, you know what photos you want to take and you can uh, get through your photographing a lot quicker. And it, it just goes to adding another system into your eBay business when it comes to photographs. Um, when it's time to take them, you know what photos you're going to take and you're not wasting time. Uh, so let's jump over to the photo booth and uh, we'll get these photos taken. So we'll line them up for our first photo, so photo number one. Um, so we just basically line it up like that. And for photos, uh, I'm currently using an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, so we'll bring out the photos. Uh, just make sure you are uh, in the square mode. Uh, so go to photos and you want to go to your settings. Oops, settings and then four by three and then choose square. Once you got the square and also make sure that your lens is clean. 
So just clear those up. Boom. So now that we got them lined up and we know what photos we're going to take, we can just get to it. So photo number one. Line these up. Photo number two. Photo number three. Number four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, photo number nine, and I forgot to take the photo of the inside of the heel, the back heel, just so you can show that there's no rips in the back heel, because uh, it is common that you do see that on shoes, uh, with used shoes anyway. So that's number 10, and then we get a photo of the tag. Perfect, so that's number 11. And then uh, for our last photo on these shoes, I did notice a little scuff. So I'm just gonna get a photo of that just so to make sure that is documented. Perfect. All right, uh, so that's it. Once you got all the uh, photos taken of your shoes, it's pretty straightforward. There's not much manipulation required uh, in camera or in the photo itself. Uh, so what you wanna do is uh, just bring up your phone and you just want to go to the uh, photos and we'll locate the photo here so we'll just use this one as the example and then what you want to do is you just want to go to uh, edit so edit and then from edit you just want to scroll over to the brightness and you just want to scroll the brightness all the way over to 100 um, and that'll brighten up the uh, the background and make the uh, shoes pop a little more now if you want that super crispy white background uh, there is a program called PhotoFuse. Uh, so I'm going to cancel out of that, discard the changes, and then we'll just jump into PhotoFuse. Let's get that photo. So we use this one here. And then what you want to do is once it's in there, you just want to highlight around the shoe. Then once it's done, hit finish. Then just give it a minute or two. And then once it's done, it's gonna have a nice crispy white background for you. Uh, so there you go. Uh, so that's how you get the uh, ultra white background. So pop them up here, as you can see. So you have the straight out of camera where you do have that nice, clear, crisp background. And then if you want the ultra white background, you can just pop it into PhotoFuse and you'll get that crisp white, um, super white background uh, effectively. Uh, and the other option, um, if you don't have the lights and you know the photo box, um, the photo fuse actually does work for that as well. Um, so I have another photo here that was just taken on the table. So we'll pop that into uh, photo fuse. And then you just want to do the same thing. Um, now when you're taking the photo, you want to try and eliminate the shadows. It just makes it harder for photo fuse to eliminate those um, when they get the white background. So we'll just try and erase and get as close to the shoe as possible. And come back in. And then you just want to make sure everything is highlighted. Click finish, and there you go. Um, so as you can see with this one, you'll just need to go back and edit it until you get uh, the shadow eliminated as much as possible. That's why it's key if you are using um, to have some sort of bright light source, even if your background isn't all white, uh, just make sure it eliminates the shadows. You can take that photo, just highlight the shoe, and you'll still get that crisp white background using Photo Fuse. Uh, so that's it. Uh, if you do enjoy this content, of course, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Hit that notification icon to let you know we have some new content uploaded. And if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe and check out some links down below. Just some items we use on a daily basis to help us out selling on eBay. Other than that, thanks for stopping in. Take care. Have a good one.